with fighting leaders like Admiral Rawlings, Task Force Commander, and Rear Admiral Vyatt. In New Zealand waters, the Dominion's new cruiser, Gambia, was among the ships actively engaging in the Pacific War early this year. Since this film was made, many actions have been reported, ranging from the Straits of Malacca to the Ryukyu Islands. Naturally, no story of British naval action in the Far East would be complete without special reference to the fleet air arm. From our carriers, Corsairs and Avengers have been doing great work. Here's a close-up of an arrestor hook, which you can see in operation as planes land on. Landing on is a tricky business in any weather, that's pretty obvious. When a pilot's been wounded or his aircraft damaged, it's more than tricky. The landing's successful, but it was made with the additional danger of fire. And although the pilot's clear of the danger, an aircraft blazing on the flight deck of a carrier is, well, quite a blitz on its own. Eventually, the plane is dumped overboard, being damaged beyond hope of local repair. On this occasion, a number of pilots were still less fortunate. They were picked up at sea by a destroyer and presently transferred to a carrier, apparently little the worse for their experience. a glimpse of the flagship HMS Howe. The film taken aboard an American warship during a naval engagement off Okinawa shows a US task force being attacked by the Japanese Air Force in great strength. An enemy plane flying through a hail of flak is shot down near its target, one among many. American planes, after engaging the enemy aloft, return to their carriers. One damaged fighter lands in the sea to be picked up later by a destroyer. Another collides with the carrier's superstructure. The toll was heavy, but the Japanese losses were almost catastrophic. 255 enemy planes destroyed in this one attack. That's how the Japs are fighting back. <laughs> <laughs>